Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to basically discuss about the Certified Tester Foundation level with Agile extension. Uh, so, in this video, we are going to cover the four important points, which is what exactly is ISTQB and what is Certified Tester Foundation level, what is the syllabus, what kind of questions and they will ask, how this is helpful for you if you are a fresher. If you are a fresher, then definitely because Agile right now, Agile software development is getting used by lots of companies and it is very, very important for you to attend this session, to attend the number of sessions where we discuss about the Agile software development, like Agile uh, methodologies, right? What are the different principles or uh, all the things related to it. So we, day by day, we will be discussing those things. So this is for the freshers and if you have an experience and if you want to take the, if you want to take this certification of ISTQB, you want to do a foundational level with Agile extension. I'm going to explain you like what is the difference between Agile one. So there are three different parts with after foundation. You can become specialist, you can go to Agile, and you can become a specialist in accessibility testing, usability, and all. So all the things, different things that you are going to see, they will be basically added to this playlist of Agile. Uh, so it's basically, it's an Agile testing kind of a you can say. 30 days challenge, right? So I am super excited, guys, because uh, this is one of the things which basically number of you were asking me. And trust me, guys, this one uh, I have predicted for API testing like two or three, three years back, where I have said to my students that as I, uh, API testing will be uh, more and more available and API tester right now will be needed. So if, we have, if you know that right now API testers are in high end demand, right? Similarly, for Agile tester, this is happening even if you are a manual tester, even if you are an automation tester, if you are going to become a manual tester or automation, Agile is very important. And trust me, guys, this course or this 30 days that we are targeting, it can be in any number of days. But trust me, take the full sessions to the exercises. You will learn a lot. All right. So let's get started. Let's learn about the what exactly the ISTQB what exactly is the foundational level and who is Agile Tester. All right. Uh, all right. So let's get started. Awesome. OK. So first of all, guys, let's understand what exactly is ISTQB. Right. Uh, first of all, ISTQB, it's if you see, it's the known profit organization and which is basically responsible for defining the various guidelines and examination structure. So basically, whatever topics that you want to learn, right, it can be related to software testing. Right now, if you see, it's mostly related to test software testing. They are basically provide you certification on that. So certification, how this is helpful, will cover in this why. But uh, I, you have to know this, con. Uh, you have to know the basically core structure, why ISTQB exists, right? So FTQB was started in 2001 and the best part is that in, if you check the data right now in January 2021, more than nearly about 10 lakhs of exams have been taken. So ISTQB is getting recognized. It is a uh, very well known uh, certification and my personal view in a very simple line, you should take it if you want to achieve something or if you want to stand out in your competition, right? So that's my thing. Uh, first of all, let's understand the levels in ISTQB. So let's zoom in a little bit. So you are here, which is a basically at a foundational level, right? And you can go to Agile Tester where you will learn. Uh, so right now we are at a Agile, des Agile Tester uh, foundational level. You will you can become Agile Tester leadership, technical scale, and you can go to advanced level. Or you can go to uh, after foundational level of ISTQB, you can go to technical test analyst, test manager, advanced, and you can go to more expert level. Similarly, you can go to expert specialist also, where you will be uh, basically can become a specialist in acceptance system performance, automated usability, and manual, right? So it's up to you how you want to decide your career. So right now, we are focusing mostly on the, this side, which is left side side, which is agile tester. And trust me, if I'm saying this, agile testers are going to Gonna create a great exposure right now because most of the companies right now are following agile software developer. So that's my take on this. Okay. Uh, let me tell you about myself, guys. If you don't know about me, my name is Pramod. I have been through this for more than nine years now. I have been working with some big names. And uh, this is one of the agile tester related things because I'm also a certified 
scrum master i have read about the and i have taken some of the great uh, coaching from the agile coaches which are basically working like 7 years to 6 years so that's why i'm giving you this more information on this i hope that helps right so let's quickly jump into the different key levels so key levels basically in icqb most of times is basically uh, how the questions are divided right so if you see k1 is basically remembering your questions understanding applying and analyze right for agile tester foundation level only k1 k2 and k3 type of questions are available keep this in mind right now don't uh, get over them this is just for reference okay and this is the exam structure link is in the description you can download this mind map uh, i'll give you in the description also you can download that you will get 40 40 questions right and it's a 16 minute exam you uh, and i think uh, somewhere i have mentioned it. one second how many numbers do you require yeah 40 question mcqs are required uh, 1.4 correct answer 65% passing marks so around 20ish 26 you have to correct right uh the questions are divided into your k levels don't worry about it because that is also included in syllabus and i think the structures already have discussed it right so what are the topics uh, mostly in covered in foundational level with agile so we are covering mostly with foundation level with agile extension uh the topics are agile software development which is very important uh, guys let me give you this very important uh, this point even if you don't do the certification you have to know these concepts why because these concepts are very important and they will be helpful for you throughout your software testing journey if you are a vendor tester or automation tester it doesn't matter okay so these concepts will be available or will be helpful for you uh, throughout your career okay so that's what i would do awesome uh second topic is fundamental of agile testing principles practices and the process that they have in agile right third topic is agile testing methods and te testing techniques what are the different things we use right and the syllabus link is always available here you can go through it uh, these uh, pdfs are very lengthy you can go through the all the foundational level uh, agile and all the things in the details right you can go through that okay. so right now let's jump directly into the uh, okay so that i have discussed with you guys that it's a 40 40 uh, questions 65% marks that you have to do so this is an intro about the only uh, certified tester with agile extension if you are interested in this uh, definitely you can go through that right and this course will help you to crack the interview and this is a similar course that i mostly teach my students uh, and trust me most of them generally crack that interview that uh, 26 marks around that with the uh, with the concepts that i am teaching you throughout this journey, right so this is a multiple videos guys so you will be seeing i will be covering software development principles processes techniques methods all related to agile in the upcoming weeks okay so pay attention to this so this video was all about giving you a brief idea what we are covering in the next set of videos okay and if uh, if you have uh, if you really want to do excel if you really want to excel definitely i would suggest please 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 uh take this ISTQ. Now let's jump into the very important question. Why you have to take the ISTQ V, right? So this is very important. Uh, it's basically you are owning an international internationally accepted certification. That is very important, right? And you will get a recognition after this. So that's very important. Plus point, it will give you a solid foundation of the testing skills, which will help you to grow in your testing career. That's what I am telling you. So I. uh i would suggest if i suggest to my all of them my student that if you have a time if you want to do it definitely do the certification because this will give you a cutting edge let me get, uh, tell you very clear on this i have seen this personally i am telling you the story of this i have seen personally hrs only selecting the profiles where it is mentioned istq i have seen this in my company in the, my previous company p hrs are directly without looking into it, if you have done foundational level agile testing or foundational level icqb they are selecting your resume and if you haven't done it they are not selecting your resume i have seen this personally this is my personally it can be different in your companies you can disagree on this but i have seen this personally in like two or three or four companies in india 
as well as outside India, right? You will get more opportunities in working to open MNC as well as uh, so startups generally don't. Uh, it doesn't matter for your certification, but in top MNCs, certifications are more, more important. And in big companies also, right now, if you are applying abroad, right? I've seen STQB is kind of mandatory and it will give you a cutting edge. Okay, it will help you to outstand the competition. That's what I'm telling you can be right. And if you want to uh, learn more about this, uh, why STQB, I'll recommend to read this, uh, this link, right? They are, they are given multiple points like you will get a high quality syllabus. It's a globally recognized. It's a common language, objectivity, uh, public availability means basically means uh, ISPQB website is free availability, independence, professional sending, and all the other points. Right? They basically they are mentioning. So I hope that is clear, guys. And uh, here is the first question set uh, for the Agile Tester Foundational level. Right? Under that same section. Uh, this is basically a download folder. You can download all the files that I am talking about. Links in the description. Make sure you check it out. So that it, so this video is all about giving you a brief idea of the foundational level agile tester. What exactly it is, why you should take it, and what are the topics. So these are the topics we will be covering in the next upcoming videos. And trust me, you only require these videos, and trust me, you will be able to crack that interview. Uh, this is uh, like a number of my students have already done it. If I have missed something, let me know. I'll be happy to help you with this. Okay. So you can read more about it. Okay. So let's start with the agile software development in the upcoming videos. All right. I'll see you in the next videos. Even if you are not doing this education, please attend these videos because you will get a lot of information. All right. I'll see you in the next video.